Hey friends and welcome back to your girl Brittany and I guess I can I guess I unofficially officially kind of announced it but not really I mean you guys probably got really sick and tired of my posts and sharing on um, my page or whatever but I am officially on the design team for decorate your life and I want to say thank you um, and it's, you know it's, it's nice to kind of start off the new year with you know it's like oh they like me they really like me but <laughs> any hoozle so i finally i finally got my pr package it um you know weather has been crazy everywhere and i'm just kind of like sitting here like oh i don't know what i'm gonna do like you know i'm seeing you guys make yourself and sharing your things like i want to feel included too but no um but no it's um i'm super excited um there's a lot of great things that are going on and there's awesome members a part of the team as well i have their <clears throat> excuse me i'll have the link for them down below in the description box you can go ahead and like follow share subscribe um all their pages and everything and see their creativity as well we all have different personalities we all have different ways of doing things and so like you know super exciting but um go ahead and I want to go ahead and open this one because I know they have been using this. I don't want to touch anything else because <laughs> I'm not sure like, okay, is this upcoming? Has this been shared yet? I don't think it's been shared yet or anything. I haven't seen anything in anybody's videos, so I don't want to touch it kind of verdilly, but I have been seeing this one. This is uh, La Condesa and this is um this one in particular is eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter it is printed on 65 pound cardstock it has 10 design sheets four cutout sheets and then 20 well with 28 sheets in total and so i'm super excited we're going to go ahead and open now, this up you can find everything on decorate your life's website i will also have that link down below for you so you can be able you can either get the actual digital copy or you can get it printed out and mailed to you at home. Um, it's a lot cheaper for international to get, you know, do digital. Just saying, putting that out there. But this is really pretty. I feel like, you know, it's so funny because I feel like her paper collections are so much more elegant than I am. <laughs> and, um, like, I'm kind of bougie ghetto. <laughs> okay, I'm not even a little ghetto. But, you know, um... I'm a little bougie, but not like, you know, like, you know, so I, I'm like, like super surprised um, about everything. So I'm just like, you know, I think this is a little bit more elegant than I am. But look at this gorgeous picture. I love this photo. Like her eyes are just looking at you like she's just looking straight through your soul. So uh, I'm loving that. Really am. And then here's the next one, really pretty flowers here. And I like the lines going across it because that's, um, you know, something you can use for a journaling page. And then here, pretty clocks. And then we have the little time piece at the bottom. Really pretty. Ooh. That is cute. And, and this one. I'm like a little peekaboo, I see you. Oh, why well, she kind of looks sad? <laughs> she kind of was like sad, like, don't have me go to this wedding, please. I didn't ask for this. That's that look I'm getting. <laughs> that was really pretty. And then this one here. And then and that. Ooh, that one's gorgeous. I like that one. These flowers are gorgeous. And then here we have um, some pretty little tags and cut out. She's looking like, I will eat you up. Like, you don't want none of this. I will eat you up. Ah, love it. And I love these little postage. This is this is really nice. That is super cute. And you know, it's so funny because I didn't even um, realize, like I knew, but I didn't know that these pieces were in here. And that will actually go really well with what we be working on today. And then here, oh, look at these super pretty mason jars. 
cute. And then here we have a pillow box and then we have some little sentiments at the bottom. So that's really cute. I don't know if I was out of frame with that one. And then, oh, look at these. I think this is the last, oh no. Well, this is like a little journaling page here. They can also utilize, so that's really pretty. Look at these. You can turn these into tags, but these are just kind of like labels. You can use it as bookmarks. So if you are a junk journaler or a traveler's notebook, or just journaling in general, like awesome, awesome collection to go ahead and work and play with. And I am super excited. I'm gonna go ahead, grab my tools, and then we're gonna talk about what we're doing today. Okay, okay, hold that thought. All right, so I have some things that I'm starting with. So I'm gonna start off with the base. Now what I'm doing is a stacked envelope drawer system but i'm also going to make my top envelope an easel so i'm not going to do like a whole bunch of envelopes or anything like that but i thought it would be really pretty with the paper collection and everything so my base is going to be five by five and then i am going to have my stacked envelope so i'm gonna probably start with like because you know like when you do the envelopes especially with the we are makers well we are memory keepers but uh, of course they changed the name to we are makers and um the sizing for the card size now the envelope is always about like an eighth or a quarter bigger than the actual card itself and so um my base envelope is going to be a four by four and then i'm gonna go ahead and scale down or you know kind of stack accordingly to my liking i'll probably do like two four by fours but kind of like stagger it a little bit then a three by three a couple three by threes to stagger it and then top it off with like maybe a two by two but i'm gonna make that um top three by three an easel and so then you can take that two by two envelope and you know easel it up and have it be like really cute so anyways um i am going off the top of my head i actually had like my little stick you know because uh, like i'm winging it so this is my base and it is seven by eleven i think yeah seven by eleven and then this is going to be the cover portion and then i have a piece for my drawer and then this is uh seven by seven but i actually took a tish literally a tish off because i needed to be able to slide in and out of the mechanism okay and then i'm going to go ahead i don't want that bone fold i want this one <laughs> i'm going to fold on my lines give that a good crease all right so i got that portion and then this part i'm just gonna go ahead and cut it but I'm not going to put it together yet. And I'm just cutting on those score lines to release that little squared tabs. All right. So the fun part is figuring out what I want. Because, of course, I don't want anything that is extremely decorative to be... Because everything's being stacked on top of it, you know what I'm saying? But... I want to reflect some of the really pretty element like this on the inside of the drawer will be super cute. And then I'm thinking, hmm, I think I might go with this one. We'll put that in a little maybe pile. Oh, and then we have this one. <coughs> So yeah, yeah, that'll work. So I'll probably utilize both of these. I don't know, we'll see. Um, definitely, yeah. All right. That's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna cut this portion. So this is gonna be my top because I don't need anything on the inside. So this is gonna be my top. And then, oh, 
probably go off onto the sides or whatever. And then I'm thinking that I like this portion, like this middle part right here to go, actually I can go, actually I want this middle portion to be my inside. And then this will be kind of like my base. Ah, blah, blah, blah. I don't know, I don't know. Let me get all this stuff cut and put together and I'll be back. All right, so this is what we have so far. So this is the cute little box. I am probably gonna distress it a little bit just to give it a little more age to go along with the paper collection. Now you guys know I am a clean shabbiest. <laughs> I, like, I, I like shabby, but I like it clean. And, um, but I am a cluster crafter, like I love layers and stuff like that, but, um, I'll probably go ahead and lightly distress it a little bit just to give a little bit of age to go along with the paper collection. I did add a drawer pull and I got these back at Hobby Lobby. I don't know if they still sell them cause I haven't been to Hobby Lobby and whew, child, I don't know. And, um, but, um, uh, that's where I got them from. And they're actually Brad's, but they're amazing little drawer pulls. And I got it like, what, a couple years ago? Now, what are you getting stuck on? Don't play with me. <laughs> and so, um, so here is the inside of the box so far. I did map the insides, but I didn't worry about the outsides. I'm like, we're not going to worry about that. And then we have it matted all the way around the sides. I am going to add feet to it. I'm not going to add actual feet. Um, I'm gonna add like, um, you know, like the little cute glittery balls Go ahead and add at the bottom, but this is just the base so far Um, I will have that information down below in the description box. We're gonna go ahead and work on the envelopes so um Grabbing your handy dandy. We are makers envelope punch board. You guys know that this is literally one of my most favorite if I could go through my favorite list of tools, like I am a huge We Are Makers fan. I don't get everything that I see. There's a lot of things I really don't even condone. Like, really? You had to make something like that? Really? Uh, yeah, I am like that with a lot of the projects or a lot of the things that they make. But there are quite a few things where I, I utilize them. And then I also utilize them for something completely different. So, i.e., remember the candy cracker box that I had made during the holiday season? I utilized the envelope punch board to create the notches in that. So, I'll have that video linked so you can go back to that. But, so what I'm doing is I'm going to do two 4 by 4s So, that means I need to cut out uh, 6 and 7 eighths squared. And then I'm going to do, um, I think I'm going to do like three and a half and then do a 3 by 3 I'm doing two four by fours, and then I'll do a three and a half squared, which I need a six by six, and then um, then I'll do a three by three, and then on top of that, do a two by two. And you're like, Brittany, you can't do a two by two on that one. There's not a two by two. Um, cool your jets because I can do a two by two because. I also have the mini, okay? Okay, so I can definitely do it two by two. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut out all my envelopes. So now I have all my stuff cut out. So this one is my three by three. I actually did, um, I, or this is my two by two. These are for my three by three. I decided to do two of those. Then this is my three and a half. And then these are my two four by four. So I have what was that? <laughs> Six envelopes that I'm doing. And um, so what I'm going to do is it comes with a little stylus. But I like using this one. This is from Dollar Tree. I love this thing with all my might. Now, again, this is for those who have never used a punch board, never seen it or anything. There are people who are new to crafting. I know there's some of you who are like, okay, Brady, we know. But there are people who don't. So fast forward. All right. So we're gonna do our four by four and we cut it down to six and seven eighths squared. And so our score line is going to be at three and a half. So I'm gonna take my page, I'm gonna line it up at three and a half. And I'm gonna punch. And then we see this line right here. That is our guide to score. And so now we don't even have to worry about lining it up with three and a half anymore. We're gonna turn it 
and we are going to line this little notch up with our score line. So you don't even have to worry about trying to match it up at three and a half um, because honestly, depending on the envelope, it's not even going to, because of the light, I can't really see my score. <laughs> um, with some of the envelope sizes, it's not even going to give you, it doesn't even line back up with the initial score anyway. So, man, I'm telling you, when you work in like certain lighting or with certain um, papers, you can't see your score. I'm about to go crazy. I think that's about right. <laughs> Where there's a will, there's a way, friends. All right, and then... I think that's right. I don't know. But yeah, do this. Or you can even kind of like draw a little line too with a pencil or something to kind of help you out if you also cannot see your score. I do wear glasses, but I'm still blind as a bat. Don't let it fool you. All right, so that's how we do it. Now, this is single-sided, so I am going to be folding on my score lines the other way. Now, of course, you can go ahead and flip your paper over, which is what I should have done in the first place, but, you know, it is what it is, okay? Sometimes that's just what happens on video. All right. <laughs> and um, so then we have our first envelope. So now I'm going to go ahead and punch all my stuff, and I'll be back. All right, so I have all my little envelopes done. Where's my bone folder? Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna get it together. One of these days, man, it's been a minute. This is what happens when you stay off camera for so freaking long. Boy. All right. So I have all my stuff done, ski. You know, and one of my things is which way do I want to do things, you know? So I'm grabbing my scoreboard. See now this one, I gotta figure out which one I want to be my top and what I want to be my bottom. Because I want to see that. That's pretty. That's pretty. So I'm gonna take my little tabby here. Move this out of my way because I can't see. So where am I at? That's about two. So I'm gonna go ahead and score this at that one and a half mark because this is going to be my easel portion. Or maybe not. Oh no, that works the way I want it to. Yeah, that'll work. You can do it wherever. It was just my own personal preference. I mean, if you want to go higher, you can. I think that'll actually work to my benefit. If not, I can always, you know what? I think I do want to go a little bit. It's going to get covered anyway, so you're not going to see the little <laughs> tiny discrepancy. Oops, that was totally crooked. Bruh. Give me that. Yeah, that's a lot better. That's a lot better. Okay. So we have that. Now all we have to do is put our envelopes together, like tape them together and everything. And we're gonna start applying and all of that fun jazz and just kind of like playing around with things of what we're gonna do. So this is the finished product. So my vision kind of came to life. You know, when you envision things, something always looks a smidgen bit deeper, but you know, you can't help what your imagination take over. But um, so I added the little gold ball feet at the bottom. <clears throat> and again, we have our little drawer pull. So everything pulls out. So really cute there. And then, so um, you guys already saw me like kind of going back and forth with how I'm gonna stack the, stack the envelopes. So here is the easel one at the top here, and it just opens up like this. This one, um, I just did a, I actually sealed this one closed, but it has like a sticky dot on it, so you could open it if you want it. Um, and then I took one of the cut aparts from the collection to be my little anchor there for the easel. Did some flowers. I had a bunch of um, paper flowers and prima flowers um, that I still had in my uh, stash that I played with. And then this one, like you can go ahead and flatten that up if you want to. So you can open this. Another one of the cut aparts here. 
And then you open up this one. We have one of the little stamps added, a heart doily and a butterfly. Oh, my little ball fell off. I need to find something to put there. <laughs> um, and then this one open, and then it goes this way. And I add a little chipboard piece just so um, to contain all the heaviness that's on top of it. Added another one of the cut apart with the ladies. Added the butterfly doily. And then when you fold it back down, the last one then opens up like this. And I just have, of course, my little um, different flower pieces here. I've added a border doily, not a doily. Um, <laughs> is that what I've been saying? <laughs> <laughs> um what you might call it uh lace oh my god uh, um applique that's what i was trying to get at and then i added some white flat back pearls going all across it there so really really cute just something like i mean just something fun that you can play with it is also like doing something like this especially if you want to use it as decoration it's a great way to go ahead and use up a collection because as you know besides the base of it because i needed um, bigger cardstock to create my base um besides that everything else was using the paper collection and not having to mat anything and so um a great way just to go ahead and kill your collection because that's really what i'm trying to do this year is really kill my collections that i have on hand and not have to purchase anything so i am not just one of those people who just keeps hoarding and hoarding and hoarding but never creating 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 but i really do hope that you guys have enjoyed this and liked what the end product came out to be again make sure you check out the other ladies who are on the design team see what they have been creating again thank you um sandy and jenny you guys are the absolute best um, make sure you go ahead and check out the website for this collection and plus many more there's always flash sales there's always deals and she just put up new hoodies so you definitely want to go ahead and check that out they are amazing and so again don't forget to like and subscribe to your girl don't forget about me like don't leave me hanging like golly even though i'm telling you to do this other stuff don't leave me hanging but anyways until next time y'all Bye.